The area shown as natural mangroves' environment is very cool with a lot of air flow. The mangroves' presence absorb carbon dioxide, hence reducing the carbon dioxide levels. The humidity of the air will also be high because of the mangroves transpiring. The soil temperatures are low and the soil is muddy. This is because this allows the mangroves to grow healthier and rapidly. So within this clip, we can recognize that there is a lack of mangroves, this being due to an excess amount of deforestation within the area. This causes erosion of the river banks. So erosion can lead to some affecting of the abiotic and biotic components of the ecosystem. Some examples could be pollution and sedimentation, as well as water clogging of the river, which can lead to a decline of the fish and other species in the area. Another example of the impacts could be the fact that too much erosion can lead to the river not being able to hold the water which causes floods. This is the charcoal fields. Charcoal fields are formed when mangroves, vast amounts of mangroves are cut and burnt underground. This causes a lot of CO2 to be left to be dense in the air, causing temperatures to rise at an alarming rate. As you can see, there's a lot of ash on the ground. The soil temperature we got came back as an error because when the mangroves are burnt underground, a lot of it releases a lot of heat, therefore all the water in the ground is evaporated, therefore leaving the soil unmoist and having as an error. The soil pH was neutral because when we burn carbon, when we burn uh, charcoal, ash is a byproduct which causes which is contain which contains carbon calcium and phosphorus. 30% calcium, 2% phosphorus, both of which contain uh, a pH of 6.5 and 7.5. That makes the uh, soil pH to be given. The charcoal burning increases atmospheric temperatures due to the release of carbon dioxide gas. The area has been deforestated, meaning the mangrove trees cannot take in the carbon dioxide. The more the levels of carbon dioxide in the air, the warmer our earth will get. The area has low humidity, which means there's less water vapor in the air, which makes the soil very dry and cracks the soil particles, which can increase the concentration of silt. The particular area has complete lack of mangroves. The area has high light intensity, making it very dry and leading to the site being useless and quite fragile. One of the organizations, namely Earthlands, have tried their best to repair this area. The mangroves in this area look healthy and young. The mangroves in this area look green and by time they will become just as effective as they previously were. The mangroves support shoreline and they stop erosion. As a result, mangroves in this region will eventually swell and improve in health and productivity and aid in recovery of the ecosystems.